The Mavic 2 offers a few color profiles, including D-Log M and Normal. Did you see the difference when I switched between the two there? The Normal view looks a lot better. Let me switch back so you can see again. So while the log view is much better for video editing because you have the highlights and the shadows protected, it's not so good when you're trying to use the viewfinder. But now there's a middle ground, the good color profile in the viewfinder combined with log footage. Let's see how. So this feature has been introduced in the DJI GO 4 app in version 4.3.2. So here I'm in normal mode, let's switch to log, there we go. And now if I want to get those colors back so I can navigate better, I press this button here. Now I see a view with a color profile similar to normal, but I'm still recording in log mode on the camera. Off, on, it makes a big difference. Now, interestingly, this modified D-Log is a little bit different to the normal color profile. If I switch to that, you can see, again, this looks slightly different. But none of these enhancements affect what's being recorded on your SD card. I'm in Final Cut Pro here. You can see the image straight out of the drone. And just looking at this histogram, we can clearly see that this is log footage. There's plenty of room to stretch this out. So I could do that manually, of course, um, using the tools here in Final Cut, so we could bring down the shadows, bring up the highlights and so forth like that. Or we could use a custom LUT. So DJI just released a LUT, D-Log M to Rec 709 LUT. And uh, if I apply that to this footage here, so I drag the custom LUT on, and then I go to my properties and select that LUT. I suspect that basically it's applying that LUT in the app, in the DJI Go app itself. So yeah, turning this on and off looks an awful lot like that enhanced view in the DJI Go app. Pretty cool tool. That's all, see you on the next one.